What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. And finally, today after months of waiting, Apple has finally released iOS 7.1, which is basically 7.0 with many new additions, many little changes, and a lot of speed improvements. It's a much more stable firmware, you'll experience a lot less crashing, and everything will be just a bit more speedier. Now you can grab this over the air from your device, and up top right, I will have an annotation for all the changes in the previous betas. Anyways, you can do it over the air or from iTunes. And and once you do get it, it's just a really quick install, about 265 megabytes. And once you do get it, you'll notice quite a difference. Personally, myself, I have noticed that my iPhone is just breathing a lot better seemingly, as if it can open and close applications better, just transitions. Everything just is smoother and more fluid, and I absolutely love that. It was definitely worth the wait. Now, where does that leave all of the jailbreakers? Muscle Nerd has just posted a new tweet saying we shouldn't update to iOS 7.1, which, big surprise, is not supported by the jailbreakers break it has been patched now 7.1 is a great firmware it's very stable however we need to wait until it is currently jailbreakable and I don't know how long that'll be I will of course let you guys know as soon as I have any info about that but for now stay away from 7.1 if you are on a jailbreak otherwise you know you will not be able to jailbreak for the foreseeable future now if you guys have updated to 7.1 there is hope for iPhone 4s and 4 owners as we should be able to see a tether jailbreak fairly soon however for 5 and 5s 5c owners you know, we won't be able to see anything until we are updated by the dev team. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy 7.1. Peace.